Why don't we start? We can't start our meeting without everyone here. Where's Gregor? Do you think he's in trouble? Not Gregor. He wouldn't be in trouble. But he's really late. He should have called. Let's go look for him. Oh, Freddy, I don't think we need to worry. It's our duty to take care of each other. Freddy's right. We need to make sure Gregor's okay. If you think your friend's in trouble, what do you do? What do you do? It's Gregor. Where have you been? You look upset. Are you all right? I've just had a terrible experience. My friend, my best friend. I just found out he takes drugs, and he was out to get me. It was awful. Come on, Gregor. Don't be chicken. What are you guys doing? We're sharing. Isn't that what friends are for? Open your mouth. I don't want any. Everybody's doing it. Open, Gregor. No, let go of me. Swallow this. Then we'll let go. I thought you were my friends. Ow! Oh, my leg. You kicked me. And I got away and ran. I can't believe it. A guy like that takes drugs. No wonder you were scared. Drugs can be bad. They can ruin your life. Club members, this calls for action. A safety kit is safe from drugs. How do we stay safe? I have an idea. Each of us can learn one way to keep drugs out of our lives. Then we'll share what we learn, and we'll know five ways. Alcohol is a drug, too. Amy's right. Alcohol is a strong drug, and lots of kids use it. But not all kids use it. Our job is to find those kids who are not into drugs and alcohol and learn their secret. We'll give our reports at our next meeting. Club dismissed. I can't believe it. He was my best friend. I'm glad I'm a safety kid. We help each other. Safety kids. I'm glad to be one. Smile when you see one. Where are we Safety kids. Help make the days bright. Help make the world right. Living with It's been a whole week since our last meeting, and we should all have our reports ready. We're ready, Ms. President. The subject we will discuss today is substance abuse. Amy, can you tell us what that means? I think so. Substance abuse is putting anything into our bodies that is not good for us. Freddy? That includes doing drugs, drinking alcohol, sniffing glue, and other stuff. Some people call it chemical abuse. And when people abuse drugs, they are not dependable. You can't really count on them. That's because they're out of control. The drugs have taken over. Gregor will have your report first. Okay. 
Why do kids do drugs? I don't know. Here's what I found out. People put chemicals in their bodies because they don't like how they are feeling. Sometimes I don't like how I feel. Sometimes I feel sad. Sometimes I feel angry. Sometimes I feel woozy. All those feelings are normal. Everyone has them. That's life. But some people who don't like these feelings try to change them with drugs. They think that will make them feel better, but it doesn't. It just makes them so they can't feel anything. And then, when the drugs wear off, they feel pain. Is that all they can feel? That's all. They're either in a stupor or they hurt. When I feel lonely or upset, I do something to make me happy. Right on, Monique. If you don't like how you're feeling, change it, but not with chemicals. Do it naturally. <laughs> drugs they lose interest in life and miss out on what's really happening they sure do amy we're ready for your report mine's different from gregor's one reason kids do drugs is because of peer pressure what's that peer pressure is doing things because other kids are doing them some people want to be like their friends so much they'll even do what they don't want to do if their friends tell them to they don't dare to be different I do to be different. That's because you believe in yourself. I do? Freddy, of course you do. You're an in-charge person. I sure am. I'm in charge of me. A person who believes in himself will do what he knows is best, no matter what anybody else does. That kind of person doesn't give in to peer pressure. There are these kids all around. Some of them are doing things that they shouldn't Make sure you understand 
the things they want to give you can destroy you. So don't fall into their hands, or you'll be on a highway heading down. into peer pressure. Way to go! But isn't it hard to tell your friends you don't do drugs? Not if you make up your mind before they ask and plan what you're going to say. Come on, Zan, I'll be the guy who wants to get you to try it. Hey, Zan, you want a beer? Uh-uh. Why not? I just don't. If you don't drink with us, you can't be one of us. You mean... I have to choose between drinking with you or not having you for friends? That's right. Then I choose not having you for friends. Wow! Can you really say that? Of course you can. You choose the clothes you wear and what you eat. You sure ought to be able to choose your friends, too. And you can say things like, I don't think that's cool. I can live without it. I don't need that to have fun. Here's what I'd say. I'm allergic. I turn blue. Before you light that thing, call an ambulance. What's your understanding of anaphylactic shock? Way to go, Amy. That'll stop him. How about just saying no? Van, you're brilliant. Besides being a super sharp safety kid. All you gotta say is... Pretty heavy stuff. Try us. We can take it. Our bodies are made up of chemicals. A little of this and some of that. With everything trying to stay in balance. Now if you put things in it like alcohol and other harmful drugs, it destroys the balance. This is really scientific. And here's the scary part. If you put those harmful chemicals into your body while you're still growing, they alter your genes. It's so scientific, I can't understand it. Monique, Freddy doesn't even know what kind of genes you're talking about. I'm talking about G-E-N-E-S, the kind you have inside of you. These genes are found in every cell in your body. They're the things that hold the pattern for how you look and how you grow. They make me have dark eyes and black hair. They control your body cells and your brain cells. Right, Zan. So if kids abuse drugs, their genes will never have a chance to make them what they might have been. Are you saying that kids who take drugs won't be as smart as they could be? 
and their muscles won't grow like they should, and they might not be able to draw as well or run as fast? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to give my genes a chance. I'm not going to use chemicals. I'm not either. Why mess up a good thing? I got my very own set of designer jeans. How do they make me look? My very own set of designer jeans didn't come from a catalog book. I didn't choose them. They chose me. I guess they couldn't resist, but they suit me fine. You gotta agree. No, all the jeans look quite like this. I've got my very own set of designer jeans, originals to be sure. I gotta take care. Smart safety rule number four. Respect your body. Give your genes a chance to make you all you can be. Good, Good job! job. Okay, Freddie, it's your turn. I don't think my report is good enough. What do you mean, not good enough? It sounds so simple after all the scientific things you guys have been talking about. It must be important, Freddie, or you wouldn't have thought so. You can tell us. Come on, Freddie. Well, you've got to have love. Love? I knew it. You're not impressed. But that's what I learned. Kids who feel loved usually don't get into drugs. Where did you hear that, Freddy? From my uncle. He told me that everybody needs someone who makes them feel important, like they belong. But some kids don't feel loved, and everybody feels unloved sometimes. And when that happens, you have to like yourself enough to be strong. How do you learn to like yourself? You can remember the good things you've done. Think of what you do best. I know another way. Stand in front of a mirror every morning and say something nice about the person you see. Do you do that, Freddy? I sure do. I tell myself lots of good things about me. I love that kid in the mirror. And when I feel like there's no one else to love me, I still have him. I need a friend, you need a friend, everybody needs to feel love, love, love. I need a pal, you need a pal, everyone must somehow find love, love, love. I need a group, you need a group, where we each feel safe to
going to try that. It's a great way to feel good about yourself. This is amazing. I didn't know love was that important. Hold on, everybody. It's all coming together. We're a club, right? And we're important to each other. That could be love. And it sure is keeping us safe from lots of things that could hurt us. We don't have to go with drugs and alcohol out to find friends because we have each other. But what about kids who might feel all alone? Every kid can be a safety kid. Then they'll never be alone because they'll have me, Gregor. And me, Zan. And me, Monique. And me, Amy. And me, Freddy. And most important, they'll have themselves. And they're okay. Play it smart, safety rule number five. Believe in yourself. You are worth it. Good job. Excellent report, Freddy. Thank you, thank you. When people get caught up in drugs, they can't show love. They still feel love. But the love gets blocked, so it can't get out. Then their families never know how much they care about them. People who are dependent on chemicals do weird things. Like my friend, he didn't used to act like that. Not until he started abusing drugs. Then he tried to make me take them. What will we do when someone wants us to drink or do drugs? You mean someone's going to try to get us to take drugs? Probably more than once. It might be a kid at school. Or some adult. But why? Why would they want to pull us down? For money. They want you to get hooked so they can sell them to you. First, they get you to try them. They might even give them to you free. Then the more you take them, the more your body wants them. Till you can't stop. Your body won't let you. That's called addiction. You're in too much pain without the chemicals. Pretty soon, you're taking more and more and paying all your money for them. And if you do it even one time, you might get hooked. Never, never try drugs. Right. If you don't ever do them the first time, you'll never have to worry about the second time. So if anyone wants you to try drugs, no matter who they are, tell them this. Don't ask one to get rich on me. I'm not giving you my money. Let's hear the Play It Smart safety rules one more time. Get your highs naturally, not chemically. Don't give in to peer pressure. Remember, all you've got to say is no. Give your genes a chance to make you all you can be. Believe in yourself. You're worth it. Good job, safety kids. We'll be safe if we follow the rules. Remember, we were born to be special. Every kid was born to be special.
make the days bright, help make the world right, living with care. Safety kids, stay alert to things, know what's happening at the park. Safety kids, keep ahead of things, play it in safety kids smart. Safety kids, we are the straight ones, we are the strong ones, we know the rules.
Now gotta go. A classic no. No way. An emphatic no. No, I say. A repeated no. No, no, no. A bored no. No. An intrude no. No, thank you. A bold no. No, get lost. A laughing no. Ha 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 no. A lengthy no. No.
Bye. Bye.